Engineers can have rewarding and fulfilling careers full of growth, prestige, and satisfying paychecks. But the mental burdens that arise from the complex nature and tight deadlines of engineering isn't exactly for everyone. Here's how to know if you'd be happy or miserable as an engineer. We'll start by seeing if you enjoy a good challenge. To start, every engineering degree is a marathon, not a sprint, full of courses pushing you to your limit. You'll find dense topics like triple integrals, free body diagrams, and lines upon lines of code all competing for your attention at any given point. As an engineering student, it's up to you to face every challenge and absorb enough information to pass each class and take away the most important lessons. Engineering in industry is a little different, but no less challenging by any means. The careers are more geared toward juggling many demanding engineering problems at one time, but the solutions to these problems aren't found in the back of a textbook. Are you the type of person who seeks out challenges and enjoys enduring them to accomplish something great? If so, then you might enjoy the rigor of engineering. But beyond rigor, we find curiosity. From airliners to iPhones, engineers design each minute little detail across all the modern technology of today. As you can imagine, they need a pretty darn good grasp on how these things work to get their projects off the ground. The engineers that naturally enjoy tinkering with their technologies tend to be much happier in their careers and overall design better products. For example, imagine a student totally taken away with rockets and engines. As a kid, he would replay Starship launches over and over, feeling a renewed sense of wonder each time. Not surprisingly, in college, he finds himself unable to stop ingesting as much rocket engine information as he can. Undoubtedly, this student has a great chance at loving a long and prosperous aerospace engineering career. Now, you don't quite need a story like this to know you'd love engineering, but if you're someone that finds great interest in knowing how the things around you work, your phone, bridges, rocket engines, you'd be likely to enjoy the detailed nature of engineering. Now, curiosity is great, but it'd be tough to love engineering without resilience. As previously touched on, engineering is not for those looking for an easy ride. It is tough, meaning that you will fail a lot. In your degree, you'll find yourself trying again and again at a 45-minute math problem to only finally get the right answer on the sixth try. And once you get it, you quickly have to shift focus to your hundreds of lines of code and figure out where you went wrong sometimes having to start from scratch. Those with a resilient mindset are ready to bounce back from challenges, setbacks, and failures. This allows you to allocate mental energy into actually solving your problems instead of stewing on your shortcomings. But if you're someone that doesn't handle your failures very well, engineering will likely be a long and miserable path for you. But don't throw in the towel just yet. Remember that resiliency, like the other characteristics in this video, is a skill that can be sharpened into a strength of yours. You've got to find a creative way to work it into your personal growth, which is actually our next needle mover on the happiness scale, innovation. All of the most monumental engineering accomplishments have used unconventional thinking to change the landscape of modern technology. Bell Laboratory's invention of the transistor, the Wright brothers' vision of flight, and the more recent DNA sequencing feats are all thanks to the innovative creativity of a handful of engineers. As you go through your engineering job search, we'll guarantee it'll be tough to find a company that's looking for a dull, unimaginative employee. Everyone wants the prospect with fresh ideas and perspectives to combat the complex problems in their fields. So if you're someone that can solve problems with a unique creativity, you'd be happy applying your skills as a hot commodity to the engineering talent market. Now the fifth and the most important thing on our list that shows you'd be happy as an engineer is easily the most important. Subscribing to our channel. I mean, who isn't an engineering insider these days? <laughs> all right, all jokes aside, it's time to actually address debatably the most important characteristic, critical thinking skills. We're gonna go off on a limb here and say that there has never been any grand engineering feat without a deeply logical and analytical understanding of a problem. Having an analytical tool set is all but a prerequisite to engineering. In your case, getting through an engineering degree requires challenging mathematical, physical, and logical concepts and practices that are built upon quarter after quarter, year after year. Without critical thinking skills, you're not gonna be having much fun. Real life engineering problems have the utmost technicality as well. Let's walk through the process real quick to show you. Solving these problems starts with an engineer's curiosity around a problem. They enjoy facing the tough challenge of solving the issue and come up with a brilliantly creative solution to only be shot down by failure. 
By tapping into their resilient mindset, they learn from the faulty solution and come up with a new one using technical problem-solving skills to progress step-by-step through the design. And there you have it, the five things that would make you happy as an engineer. Although these five things are great tells, you don't need all or even most of them to convince yourself that you'd be happy as an engineer. You have to start trying it out. Explore more engineering fields, talk to active engineers, and start engineering today. Leave a comment or join us on Discord if you want to connect with engineers. We're here for you. So, thanks for watching, everybody.